guys, oh man, God has been moving so mightily within our body. We had a powerful day of prayer and fasting with our staff, with our lay leadership team, and with others from our congregation that joined us on Thursday. And God was so good to us. He heard our prayers. He spoke to us. He's given us direction. But here's the thing, again and again and again, we are called to earnestly seek His face. We are called to pray, set aside time every day, like an hour a day, um, if he leads you that, to pray earnestly to him. What's going on in your life today that you need to bring to the Lord? Is it a relationship issue, financial issues? Are you seeking his way or his direction? Or is there something that you're looking to find out the why in your life? Are you wondering why he's not acting? Are you wondering why you're not hearing him? Are you not hearing him because you're not spending time with him or in his word? I mean, uh, God spoke so powerfully uh, to his servant, King Solomon, in Second Chronicles. And part of this verse, you may know well, uh, because we have quoted it so many times. But today, this is a call to us as a body of Christ United. And if you're not part of Christ United, but you're part of another Christ body, it's to the whole body for us to humble ourselves, to truly set ourselves apart and say, God, I want your will to be done. That's, that's humility, not my will, not my wants, my desires, what I think is right, what is wrong, but what God does. So here are these verses from Second Chronicle, Chronicles chapter 7, uh, verse, starting with verse 11. When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord in the royal palace and had succeeded in carrying out all that he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour fire land, or send a plague among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, and I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. That's 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7 verses 11 through 16. So now we know um, with Jesus that we are the temple of God, that our we are, our hearts are, our shell, our vessel. He dwells with us. When we seek Him and confess our sin, He hears our prayer. He hears our pleas. He hears our desire to walk with Him. And He wants to do that to you today. There's someone listening today that is struggling because you're, you're having trouble hearing hearing him or you're struggling with sin that's getting in the way of you and and him or you've not submitted your whole self the temple uh, to him for him to dwell in every area and aspect of your life but remember this he is so faithful to us if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face oh man oh brothers and sisters please uh, join us join me and humbling ourselves and seeking his face uh, with our palms up so that we're both releasing everything we have, bottling us up to him, but we're just waiting quietly in great expectation to hear him and receive him. This is the greatest, one of the greatest promises that we ever have. Oh man, will you do it with me? So God, here we are. Oh Father, we are your brothers and sisters and we come to you with our palms open. We seek to humble ourselves before you and seek your face we confess our sin and all we want is you god you're calling us higher and higher to set ourselves aside more and more and more and father we confess that that can be a struggle but lord it is your greatest desire and so here we are we ask god that you would hear our prayer you'd forgive our sin you would heal our land thank you god for the greatest movement of your holy spirit and all god's people said amen god bless you all keep seeking him to keep seeking him and setting yourself aside listening and he will speak god bless